the longer it's been since you've won, does it get harder to do in terms of remembering <coughs> how to do it? No, because I've, I've been through this, this period before. You know, if people forget, I went from 97 to 99 with only one win. I went through a two-year period. So, but from 99 through 01, I had a pretty good run. So, um, you know, it's just, it's not like I've, I haven't been here before. I've been, been through stretches like this. Um, when I first started working with Hank, I went through a year and a half period where I didn't do anything. So, um, it, it takes time to implement change. And, you know, especially a change in philosophies, which I've done on two other occasions, and now this is my third occasion. How would, how would you characterize this philosophy then? What's, what's the philosophy now, Tiger, for you? Well, some of, the, some of the positions, I've been here before, and it's one of the reasons why I've, I've made the changes a little bit faster, because I've actually been here before. Some of the impact positions, some of the different key positions in my golf swing, uh, I used to do. So, uh, but some of the stuff, it is different how I get there, and that's what uh, has taken a little bit of time. Go to Derek in the far left corner. Uh, Tiger, you obviously seem particularly comfortable playing with <coughs> um, Would he be one of the, the, your favourite people to play with? And if so, is there mm. any sort of nice little anecdotes? No, I, I just have always had a great time with Lee. Um, we've, we've been on tour for about the same amount of time. Uh, I think he's been, maybe been out here for a couple more years than I have. But um, you know, we've seemed to have been uh, paired together early in both of our careers. And... Uh, and then obviously a lot lately. So uh, we've been paired together in a few major championships and uh, I've always got along really well with Lee and uh, just have always had a great time playing with him. Take a question from Paul <coughs> on the far right. Hey, Tiger, uh, as time goes by and you know, you're now number three yeah. and, and the new generations comes through, um, it's inevitable that you know, at some point you'll be in the, you're in the pack rather mm -hmm. than dominating. Um, is it important for you to regain that dominance at number one, or would you be content as years go by to be part of the pack but picking off tournaments as you go? Well, I think it's just about I know what I can do in the game, and uh, Sean and I are trying to get there. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I can still win golf tournaments. I'm not that old. Um, I figure I still got some, some years ahead of me. Yeah, but, would, but would you be com comfortable being part of a, of, of, of a big top ten pack? Or is it all about being number one for you? Well, if I win the same four tournaments every year and the four big ones, I think I'd be all right. Um, we'll take the last couple of questions. The lady in the middle. Well, okay, if you, yeah, pass it on. Tiger, there was a lot of anticipation about Torrey Pines, about you know the, a new year, a fresh start, mm -hmm. a, a course that you dominated. And just looking back on that, uh, on your performance there, is it disappointing that the, the year didn't start off better for you? or are you, mm. Were you able to look and really analyze why that was not as successful a performance as you might have wanted? Yeah, as I said earlier, um, that it was good to actually play that event and have some of the things that, that came up um, swing-wise because, as I said, this is a new swing and um, new fixes. So some of the old fixes don't, don't work, and um, that's what takes time is being able to identify it and know what the fix is going to immediately be and, and hit proper shots. And um, it was good. It was good. We had a lot of long talks, Sean and I, to, to uh, analyze it. And uh, it was good to have an event like that. Your young partner that day said that he thought you had kind of mailed it in in the last round. And I was just wondering if you had a response to that. I was grinding pretty hard. Unfortunately, I didn't have much. Pardon? So I was grinding pretty hard, but I just didn't have much. We go Bernie on the left. Um, just a similar sort of question, Tiger, to Paul's. About the world rankings, like when you came here in 2001, there was only two Europeans in the top ten. Mm. You come here this week, there's about six. I was wondering, sort of, you know, you've travelled Europe a lot, whether you can sort of put a handle on why Europe has so many players in the top ten at the moment. Well, I think it's uh, the next generation of players. I mean, you had that, you had, uh, what, Faldo, Lyle, Langer, um, Woozy. Ollie, Seve, you know, all those guys for a number of years. And then there was a period where um, these new young guys hadn't, hadn't come up yet. And this is the next generation of players. And um, as we all know, it's cyclical. You know, it goes in cycles. And uh, this is that, that generation. And um, they're proving it. Here you go, Kevin, down the front. Uh, Tiger, so talking about that next generation, you're playing with uh, one tomorrow, Martin Keimer, mm -hmm. who's a, obviously a great fan of yours. Never played with him. I just wondered how 
how much you know of his game and what are you expecting tomorrow? Well, I've only seen him play, you know, uh, whether um, the pairings that are, you know, either behind or in front of him or um, on TV occasion. Uh, but uh, hits the ball a long ways. Um, you can see the, the tremendous power he has and just a, a wonderful mentality how he goes about playing. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, it'll be fun to get out there and play because I haven't, I haven't played with him. And uh, hopefully uh, it won't be the last time. Here you go, Mike, far left, second row. Yeah, Tiger again. Um, you know, as you mentioned, you talked about Torrey Pines. I mean, is there... I guess a two-part question: Is there mm -hmm. is there some is, 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 these things take time? But is there some frustration that I mean, you must be as someone who's very competitive and has been number one? I mean, you must there must be some frustration mm. that's not coming together as quickly as you'd like, or how do you what can you say? No, about there's that? certainly it was it was frustrating that I didn't perform the way I know I could. Um, but as I said earlier to the gentleman over here is that you know I've been here before. You know, it, it takes time. I went through a, I said a two-year period where I didn't do anything. I went through a year and a half period where I didn't do anything. Um, it, it takes time to, to make these changes. Uh, you just don't make changes and all of a sudden start winning a bunch of golf tournaments. It doesn't work that way. Um, it takes time. And um, you know, it, it was good to have these, these problems kind of show themselves under a tournament atmosphere. And it was very good and um, we could identify it and fix it. I mean, uh, if, we, if we could have, sorry, last question from Peter at the back there. Tiger, you've had a club in your hand for the best part of 33 years. Do you ever reach a stage where you think, I'd quite like to do something else? Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, and what would that be? Where do you see yourself going over the next 20 years? I won't be here in front of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So what would you like to be doing in the next 20 years? I'm not telling you. <laughs> no ideas? No I do thoughts? know. I do know. We won't be here, though. Okay. Well, thanks for you got it, guys. Tiger. Have a good All one. All the best this week.